All right. Uh, so time now for us. Uh, to go into what people are reporting and we will start with some of the headlines in some of the newspapers as captured by myjoyonline.com after that I will take you around we'll see what uh, myjoyonline.com itself is reporting and other news portals so here's the Daily Guide newspaper no cash for striking doctors the chaos in the public sector may not be ending anytime soon because there's no money to meet the demands of the workers especially uh, those of the striking doctors who are in day seven of the strike action. Gas explosion kills two. That story we reported in detail. Musician arrested over baby jet sex tape. Popular reggae musician and president of the Muse, Music Council of Ghana, Lester Echo Micah, was arrested Tuesday evening over what has become known as a Samoan sex video saga. Apparently, they say He's got something to do with it. Remember, there was a, a journalist who was also arrested now on bail concerning the same uh, Asamojan uh, saga. We'll see how it ends. It looks like it's not going to end now, so we'll see how it keeps uh, it rolls over. Whose name will be mentioned after this? The General Telegraph newspaper now. Police hospital recalls staff on leave and the story says that the police hospital here in Accra has suspended leave for all its staff the acting public relations officer of the hospital Copra Faustina Nunepegu uh, has told the General Telegraph police issues public fraud alerts and the police administration has uncovered the latest uh, operandi uh, being used okay so this is the new means of defrauding people apparently by scammers to swindle innocent citizens of their hard-earned monies. I guess if you want to know the details of this, you have to read the full story, which is in the General Telegraph newspaper. Two flyovers at Kwame Nkrumah Circle ready. That would be some good news. President John Mahama is expected to open traffic at two completed flyovers at the Kwame Nkrumah interchange this week. The Business and Financial Times newspaper now, National Development Plan must work. That's according to the president. 54 trans border checkpoints spur complaints. Uh, and the story says that Ghana security agencies have come under severe criticism from trans border operators for mourning scores of permanent and temporary checkpoints or manning that contravene the ECOWAS convention on transit goods. Nation could lose bond holders. That's according to Akuto saying the member of parliament for Old Tafo and ranking member on finance, Dr. Antonia Kotose, has stated that the country risk losing its foreign investors, especially holders of the country's bonds, if stability in the country uh, instability in instability in the country continues. All right, so that will be it for some of the newspapers captured, but I'm going to take you to myjoyonline.com where there is this story. For instance, newly launched development plan bond to fail without entrenchments clause. And that's according to this man right here that you see. Okay, so a political scientist with the University of Ghana, Dr. Ransford Jampo says, any political development or any national development plan that is not binding on all political parties is an exercise in futility. He goes on to say that a country plagued with a tragedy of policy discontinuity, the most appropriate thing is to have a binding development plan around which political parties will build their manifestos. And a lot of people agree with him. What's the point if another party or another government will not come and continue what you've started? We'll be in the same place where we are. All right, let's get to ctfmonline.com. Uh, let's check out some of the headlines here on the site. Labor unrest. Ignore MPP's misguided attacks. That's what uh, the Labor Relations Minister is saying. Psychiatric nurses call off sit-down strike. NPP hits out at government's appeals to striking and two fear dead in gas explosion near Kaswa. Some of the headlines you find there. I'll take you to the graphic.com.g. That's graphic online, still loading. So let's uh, get into a story that I uh, that just came from Kenya, and I'm picking this from bbc.com, which is also loading. So let's go to India because this is another breaking news uh, about two passenger trains in India uh, that have derailed minutes apart on a partially flooded bridge, killing at least 24 people, officials say. So the trains were passing each other, 
uh, and several uh, near a town where there is a river apparently we're told that several trains have already fallen into that river a railway spokesman told the BBC that heavy rain had caused river levels to rise submerging the track let's see if my Kenyan story uh, is in now yes it is and this is just breaking news also on the BBC Kenya boats capsizes after collusion and a boat has capsized in Lake Victoria in Western Kenya with lives feared lost in the accident more than 200 people were on board when the accident took place after a collision with another boat reports say we're told the two children already have died in that okay so I guess in the absence of anything coming up right now, that will be it. Uh, you can also go to the website and check out uh, what is trending right there. I'll make way for Spot. You're still watching the AM show. If you've got comments that you want to share with us, please feel free. Just go to facebook.com for slash join news on TV.